back with another rumbling conversation. <laughs> yo, so listen, yo. One thing we gotta stop doing in the boxing, in the world of boxing, is we gotta stop selling our sport out. Now I understand that everybody has their own opinion. Like you know what I mean? If you believe that Shakur Stevenson is a boring fighter, then that's your opinion. And you get to live out whatever your opinion is. And the fans get to see what they want to see. But we got to stop. As, as boxing fans, hardcore boxing fans, we have to stop selling our sport out. Because if everybody was a knockout artist, right, the sport wouldn't be as great as it is. You know, you want to see that knockout artist against a strategic boxer. You know, that's always been throughout history. We always wanted to see the knockout artist against that strategical boxer. To see, is that knockout artist going to be able to to uh, to uh, inflict pain on a guy that, that never gets in trouble? And for now, now recently... Since everybody has been in the sport for looking at numbers and looking at different aspects of the sport, now we got a different uh we got a different sport. We got a different sport. We want everybody to be a hundred percent a gate draw. We want everybody to be a knockout artist. We want everybody to have the same abilities as everybody else has, and that's not the sport of boxing. That's not the sport of boxing. I get it. Everybody is not Floyd Mayweather. I get that. And in time, the guys that's not as good as they as they say it is, it will tell on them. What well, in our sport, that don't mean that you're a bum. Like, if if it was no PED scandal in between Ryan and Devin, that don't mean that Devin a bum because he lost that fight straight up. That don't mean that he's he, he, he's a bum. He lost a fight straight up. That makes the guy a fighter. You know, I, I'm really, I'm furious with this rhetoric that everybody has to be undefeated. Everybody has to be a knockout artist. Everybody has to be an exciting fighter. Bernard Hopkins wasn't an exciting fighter. But I think... I got Bar Bernard Hopkins on my top five of all times. Bernard Hopkins was ducked from so many great champions because he was an exciting fighting fighter. They made Bernard Hopkins run the long way. Uh, Terrence Crawford. Y'all don't deem Terrence Crawford as the most exciting fighter, even though he gives you knockouts after knockouts after knockouts. Y'all don't de deem Terrence Crawford as an exciting fighter. We actually, and I'm saying we because me, we actually looked down on Terrence Crawford. But he ended up being the fighter of the century because of the beat be between uh, Errol Spence. I say that to say that us as fighters, us as, um, as boxing fans, we can be wrong. But don't condemn the sport when you're wrong. Don't rub the sport in the mud when you're wrong. Don't have a have a have ill will towards the sport when we're wrong. You know, and, and that's the that's the point that I'm making. You know, everybody has has a chance to everybody has a chance to be wrong with predicting the fight. But just because you was wrong or you was right, but the fight didn't go the way that you wanted it to go, don't bash the sport. I love the boxers in the sport of boxing. I love the guys that hit and don't get hit. Is they exciting? It's exciting to me. It's exciting to me. We have to... A casual boxing fan don't know what the fuck they're watching. Us as 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 hardcore boxer fans have to, have to relay the message to the casual boxing fan and let them know, well, no, nah, that's... That's what's taking place, yo. No, 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 no. That, 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 that's what's taking place. The reason why he's doing that. Because a casual boxer fan uh, tends to get stupid. A casual boxer fan uh, tends to feel as though 
is going to dictate to the boxing, the boxing fan goats how this fight's supposed to go. So a lot of y'all guys get influence on these casual boxing fans. And then y'all start saying shit that casual boxing fans, also, us hardcore boxing fans, start saying bullshit that casual boxing fans say. And that's bullshit, man. We have to understand that everybody is not a knockout artist. We never wanted them to be. That was the best part about the sport of boxing that everybody was not a knockout artist and you wasn't going to get knockouts all the time you was going to get fights that go 12 rounds remember at one point Mike Tyson was knocking people out so much he had to carry on so the fight could be a little longer so people can get there because after a while knockout artists don't sell because people start saying well man he knock out everybody he, said, he fight I don't want to see that guy so stop telling me that all of this hoopla is just because of, of he's fighting the 